Oh, hello, Sally. You're looking very brown. You've got a tan. So have you. Oh, yeah, but that's nature's tan, mate. Oh, are you naturally like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature's oh, I tan. didn't. Oh, I thought you'd just always go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday today. What do you think of that? I quite like it. <laughs> I'm 58. OK. So can you imagine how wise I am? <laughs> Almost there. Fantastic. For you. Whoa. Shh. I'm trying to read the task stocks. Get Alex onto dry land as elegantly as possible. Alex must remain dry. No mention of uh, me remaining dry. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. Alex will hoist the anchor in two minutes. And you've got rid of the oar. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all hold on to our proverbial horses. It's time for the second commercial break. See you soon. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster. Weren't we all afloat, Alex? Yes. So, two things that they're going to get scored for, the speed mm -hmm. and the elegance. Yes, speed That's and... Speed. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the elegance. Yes. Good. OK, <laughs> we start off with Ashling and Mark? Mm. Yes. Oh. Good. Here they are. Can I look what's under here? If you want to. I'm seeing as elegantly as possible. What is this? Bloody coconuts in the show. Uh-huh. It was one of those, like, regatta scarves, like, posh English people wear. They're often gloves. This is going to come in handy. There are a lot of things in here. No, because it has to be elegant. Here's an umbrella for you. There you go. Now I'm going to make a sail, because that's what sailors do. Unfortunately, we're drifting towards some um, uh, reeds at the moment, aren't we? Where I'm from, Alex, this would be what we call elegant. A lady very slowly taking off her clothes. We're not, we're not far now. We're not far, Alex. Oh, you have taken off your clothes. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Keep your eyes averted. This is going to work. It's sort of a race against time now, except that elegance is important. You've got five minutes to get to the dry land. Like, I mean, don't avert your eyes like you're disgusted. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I really wish I'd worn better underwear. This isn't... It might not be that elegant, but it's not too bad, is it? Quite keen to get to the pontoon, Mark. Oh, yes. Darling, welcome ashore. Don't back this up. Stop the clock. Hey, dignity intact. Dignity intact. <laughs> OK. Stop the clock. Does Audrey Hepburn... Elegant. <laughs> Elegant. There's Ashling B. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I forgot what knickers I was... I'm genuinely embarrassed by my knickers. Yeah. I <laughs> saw your genuine embarrassment. What sort of feminist am I? That I was like, oh, my awful yellow... Yellow kind of flower knickers. Oh. Ah, awful business, yeah. White would have been a disaster. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, I didn't shit myself, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I mean, you know, how fast was it? Oh, she was quite swift. It was. We're looking for elegance and speed, which is a difficult combination. Yeah. Uh, eight minutes twenty-two seconds, compared to Mark's uh, seventeen minutes forty-five, <laughs> wow. which we would probably round up to, to quite a while. Well, as you could see, the problem I had was that quite strong wind blew us almost all the way to France. <laughs> so, uh, I should say it, it was a lake. Uh, yes, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, very <laughs> strong wind. I think we'll find all lakes do lead to France. <laughs> um, who's next? Uh, we're going to see Bob and Sally now. Woo! Which way's the wind going? <laughs> Which way are we going to go? <laughs> Have you ever punted before? Yes. Good. 
wanted to know. Just it feels like we're going. We are going the wrong way. It's true. I'm trying to turn around. Okay. <laughs> What's the plan, Bob? Now I'm going to attach a reasonably heavy weight to the rope, and then pull on the rope to bring us towards the heavy weight. I think this will be quite elegant. It'll be reminiscent of um, the Thai prawn farmers. Are you ready, Alex? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I thought it would sink. No, I'm broken. Oh, God. Kumbaya, my lord, it's kumbaya. <laughs> Michael rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh. okay. There you are, sir. The wonderful island of Capri. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your stay. Wow, I think Bob uh, summed it up there. When I think of elegance, I think of prawn, prawn farmer. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all thought that brolly would help us, didn't we? Yeah, and it, it, it catch just the wind. No, no, they're used to protect people from rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did Bob do yeah. time-wise? Well, it took him 12 minutes and 37 seconds, and that's to cover 50 yards, which means he was travelling at a speed of about four miles a, a day. <laughs> <laughs> If he wanted to cross the Atlantic in that technique, it would take him two years. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sally Phillips, Sally Phillips, <laughs> genuinely elegant. Yeah. Lovely bit of punting. She took exactly ten minutes and twelve seconds. Ooh. Well, it was the most elegant so far, I think, okay. Sally's. Clearly, wasn't it? Mm. Perfect. I'll note that down. Who's left? We're yet to see Nish Kumar's effort. <laughs> I'm hoisting the anchor. Quite elegant. This is my most elegant position. <laughs> We're nearly there, Nish. Excuse me. I want to stay elegant with it, Alex. I can feel the wind on my butt crack. I can see the wind on your butt crack. You can see the wind on my butt crack. A little bit. Please, Alex, <laughs> step forth onto the platform. Thank you, Nish. Elegant. How do you like them apples? What did, he, what did he say at the end? He shouted, how do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> Which is the, the battle cry of the elegant man. <laughs> That's what I say every time people see both my butt cheeks. How do you like these apples? <laughs> fast. Very fast. OK, oh, tell me oh, how right. fast. <laughs> uh, he took four minutes and Whoa. five seconds. <laughs> yeah. First place, is that? First place, bam, straight in, as far as I'm okay. concerned. <laughs> And if I wasn't on that boat, seeing someone's um, backside, I would have chosen a snooker cue wielding Sally Phillips, <laughs> smashing into second place. Yeah. OK. I understand what you said. I'm going to put Ashling in third place because, you know, got a pants out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a shit. <laughs> um, uh, Bob crashing in to fourth place. Fourth place. Mark is the contestant here who looks, and I hope this isn't disrespectful, <laughs> most like a heron. <laughs> you managed to make the heron look inelegant. It's incredible. But you got him to shore, so, you know, I guess you can have a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There could be quite a lot of, I guess you can have a point. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.